Hi everyone, Tom here from Front End Beginners. In this video, we're going to look at how to perfectly center align an element within its container using CSS Flexbox. So to set things up, let's create a very simple example using empty divs. I've got a blank HTML template here and I'm inside the main body tags. We'll start by creating a container element inside which we want to perfectly center another element on both the vertical and horizontal axis. So we'll create a div and we'll give this outer div a class of container element. Inside our container, we'll create another div with a class of inner element. This is the element that we want to be perfectly centered. If we preview this in our browser, we'll see that it doesn't actually look like we've created anything. So let's move over to the CSS and start giving our divs some basic styling. Let's begin with the container element class and we'll give it a width of say 500 pixels, a height also 500 pixels and then we'll give it a border of 2 pixels solid black and a background color of light, light grey. Just to make things a little more visually pleasing, we'll also give this container a margin of zero on the top and bottom and auto on the left and right, just to make it centered on the horizontal axis in the, in the browser. So there we go, there's our outer container div. So moving on to the inner element, Let's give this a smaller width and height of say 100 pixels and a different background color of black. All right, there we go. So we've got our gray container div with a small black square inside it, which is currently positioned in the top left corner. So as we're talking about Flexbox in this video, the next step is to make the container element a Flexbox container or parent by setting its display property to flex. So on this container element, I'll drop down a couple of lines just to separate things a little bit. So our container element, which is this outer container element here, we're going to set its display property to flex. So now any element that is a direct child of this parent flex container will be treated as an individual flex item. In this case, our inner element div will be a flex item inside the container element parent. So our parent is here and we've got one inner element inside it which will be the flex child item. So just setting the parent container to flex won't actually center anything. This is still up in the top left. However, if you only have a single child item that you want to center inside a container, the simplest way to do this is with a single line of code. You simply set the inner element, set the margin to auto. And with that one line of code, your single element is now perfectly centered both horizontally and vertically inside the parent. Basically what this does is automatically calculate the top and bottom and left and right margins for the element, setting them to equal values on each axis. This gives you a perfectly centered element inside your container. However, there is a problem with this. Uh, if you were to add a second child item inside the parent container, they would no longer be centered. And let's take a quick look at this by copying and pasting our inner element. So we've now got two child items. And you can see that while they're still centered uh, vertically, there's now this space between them. So they're not centered like together here in the middle, they've been pushed apart. 
And if we have a look at this with the Chrome DevTools, which you can access by right clicking and choosing inspect, we can see we've got our container element here with our two inner elements. And basically the because the flex direction by default is set to row, elements inside a parent container will be laid out side by side on the horizontal axis. The available space above and below the items remains the same, so they're vertically centered, but the space to either side of the elements is now being shared equally and the two divs are being pushed apart. So we can see if we hover over the inner element items here in the dev tools, um, the top and bottom spacing obviously is the same, but left and right, it's being shared out equally. So we click on here and scroll down to the bottom, you can see the margin amounts here. Left and right is being shared out. So whatever free space there is left over in this gray area to the left and right of these two items is being split directly in half. So if you wanted to center these two elements together side by side in the middle of the parent container, then you'd need to change things up a bit. So if we go back to our CSS and have a look and remove this margin auto value from the child elements, you now see that they're positioned side by side. Let's have a look here. You can see these are the two elements right next to each other with no space between them anymore but they're back in the top left, which is like default positioning. So to get them into the middle of the container together in here, we need to set some Flexbox positioning properties on the parent container itself, not on the child items. So the first thing that we're gonna set here on the parent container is justify content. So this justify content property is used to position child items inside a flex container along the main axis. So in this case, flex direction is left to the default value of row. So justify content will affect the horizontal positioning or the left to right positioning along the main axis, the row direction inside of our parent container. So if we set our justify content value to center in this case, you'll see that the two divs side by side here have now been positioned in the center of our container horizontally. So now we've got them horizontally centered, we're halfway there and all that's left is to position the child items on the vertical center. So to do this, we use another positioning property on the parent container called align items. Align items. Uh, this takes similar values and works in a similar way to the justify content property, except it works on the cross axis. So instead of the main axis, which runs in this case, because we're set to row, which is the default direction for flex containers, the main axis is left to right and the cross axis is top to bottom. So we've used justify content to center our elements along the main axis and we now use align items to center our elements along the cross axis. So if we put in a value here of center, you can now see that we are perfectly centered in the middle of our parent container, both vertically and horizontally and that our inner elements, our child elements are side by side. So with this setup in the way it is now, you could add a third or fourth div here and they'd still be centered until their combined width reaches the edge of the parent container when they'd start to overflow and kind of get smushed together. Uh, but that's a topic for another video where we'll look at uh, flex wrap, which allows you basically if you in this case, if we had five, we've got a 500 pixel wide container. If we had five 100 pixel squares, obviously they would be edge to edge. And if we add a sixth, then they'll start to overlap and it will all just become ugly. But if you set a flex wrap 
um, property in your CSS, you can allow any items that overflow the edge of the container to wrap down onto another line. Um, but yeah, we'll leave that for now because that's a completely separate topic. So to recap, if you have a single element inside a parent container, make the parent a flexbox container by setting its display to flex, then simply give the child item a margin of auto. So we've got one item, and just comment this out, and we set the child to margin auto, and our single element is now right in the center. If you add in a second or a third uh, inner element, they're going to get pushed aside, uh, they're going to get pushed apart, rather, and they won't be completely centered here. If you want that and you've got more than one element, then you need to remove the margin auto from the child and set the flexbox positioning uh, properties on the parent container, justify content center and align items center and your two or three or four elements will now be perfectly centered in the middle of your container. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions, please just leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to answer as soon as I can. Cheers everyone and see you in the next video.